Hi, my name is Monica and welcome to my first TBR of 2023. Continuing with the format of my TBRs last year, we're going to be covering two months in this video. So we're going to be covering January and February of what I will read. And from my last TBR, I was very ambitious and I didn't end up reading all the books that I wanted to read. So I'm moving some of those onto this one. And that includes Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. So this is the second book in the Six of Crows duology. And we're following a group of six teenagers who come together to perform a very, very risky heist. And this is the fallout from that heist. And I'm very excited to see what my reactions will be like with this one. And another book that I'm carrying forward is Babel by R.F. Kuang. So this one is a dark academia book. It's described as a fantasy with historical fictional elements. There's power in translations in this world. And with many words getting lost in translations, there's magic to be had in there. And in this world, they can be formed in silver bars. We're following Robin, who is a Chinese orphan, and he's been raised by a mysterious professor to enter Babel. What Babel is, is the Oxford University prestigious Royal Institute of Translation. That's such a mouthful to say. However, we're set in Britain and they're starting to wage war against China for the silver magical bars and opium. And with that, we have student revolutions and colonial resistance as themes in this book. And I'm really excited to see how we think about this dark academia book because I've been finding some dark academia books that have not been working out for me. So I'm excited to get to this one though. New books for this TBR include Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This is book two in the Stormlight Archive series. If you haven't heard about this series before, we're set in the land of Roshar, where the landscape is brutal with its weather, war, and politics. There is an ancient order known as the Knights Radiant that fell, but leaving behind mystical and powerful shard blades and shard plates. This gives a way for men to fight and wage their wars. Right after finishing The Way of Kings that I read in December, I just immediately had to pick up the sequel and I'm not regretting it right now. It is my current read and I'm very much enjoying the journeys of our characters and learning more about the world of Roshar. I think this one is focused on Shalon as a character. This is my second time reading this one and I'm really excited to see more of Aelin, Kaladin, Dalinar, Navani, and everyone else that we met in book one. I think right after this one, I will be continuing with book three, Oathbringer. My next book on this TBR is Hellbent by Leigh Bardugo. And this is book two in the Alex Stern series. And this is the sequel to Ninth House, which I just recently reread in December. And I will have a reading vlog up soon for that. I'm super excited to just dive right back into the world of Alex Stern with her ghost powers as well as the occult. And at Yale Universities, there's like demons and hell and secret societies. Very dark academia. Really, I just want to know what happens with Darlington, so let's see what happens once I get my hands on my copy. Next is Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. This is the last and final book in the Last Hours trilogy. This series is part of the Shadowhunter world, and this is the fourth main series, I believe. We're set in Edwardian London in the early 1900s, and we're following a new group of Shadowhunters that are actually the children of other couples that we've met before. I can't wait to see how Cassandra Clare will wrap up everything with the Merry Thieves, with Cordelia, Lucy, and the rest of the crew because I feel like her writing has improved immensely over the years and I'm really really excited to see how Cassandra can like beat her other finales. Next up we have Jade War by Fonda Lee. This is book two in the Greenbone Saga. In this series we are following the Call family who rules over the island of Kekon. However, the Call family they are at odds with their rivals and there is a brewing clan war. Also with supernaturally gifted warriors powered by Jade, it adds a magical element to this urban fantasy world and I'm so so excited to see how book two goes from following Jade City I'm just expecting a lot of betrayals, a lot of politicking, and a really good fights. Lastly on my list, I have an adult fantasy romance and this is The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. This one is about a girl who escaped a cult at age 13 and she has been on the run ever since for the past decade. However, that's a little bit hard because of her death magic. Now at 23, she gets discovered and taken by warrior monks 
who want to use her magic for the sainted king. And this being a fantasy romance, we do have two love interests. We have a duke turned monk bodyguard as well as the king's heir that are both interested in our main character. There is politics, religion, and forbidden romance. So I'm very, very excited for this one. So those are all my books that I will hopefully read in January and February. Comment down below what you are planning to read for this month and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and also ring the bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!